baby. How are you? Hello. Today I'm going to be talking about dew claws. Now dew claws are like a thumb, but they're up higher on the leg. Some dogs uh, don't even have dew claws. Some are born with one, two, uh, double dew claws on the back, depending on the breed. And uh, the front dew claws are mainly for gripping, like the grip bones or their food uh, to hold still. And some are pretty uh, loose on the skin, some are tight. And the back ones especially, sometimes they curl in a circle, so you have to be really careful. You have to check all the areas, each leg, to see if the dog has a dew claw. Sometimes there's only one dew claw on one back leg. And the back ones tend to be uh, curled around and they do grow into the skin if they're not cut on a regular basis. And um, cutting them, you know, sh shouldn't be a problem. Unless they're really curled, you need to use a different kind of nail clipper uh, for your, to cut the nails. Usually I use a regular nail trimmer like this to cut the nails. And if the dew claw is pretty straight, you can use this as well. But to get out the curly ones, you can use a, a nail clipper like this, and that'll get the curly, the curly nail off. So this dew claw, it grows out pretty straight. It's not a difficult nail um, to cut. And this nail is white and pink. You can see the quick. So I can just use my regular, or you can use your regular nail clippers to trim this. And they grow longer than regular nails because they don't hit the ground. They can't wear down, so they really need to be trimmed. I'd suggest every two weeks, two to four weeks, to be trimming the dew claws along with the nails as well. I mean, you can clip them as often as you can. The more, the better, and then the quick will recede and you can cut them even shorter. So that one's not too bad. So here's the back um, dew claw. This one actually can be cut with the regular nail clipper. It didn't really curl into a ball because this dog gets groomed on a monthly basis so they get trimmed often. Some of them hang there by like a thread of his skin. They're kind of like um, like an extra thumb on a dog. So uh, they're all different and you just got to be careful when you're combing the dog not to catch the dew claw with the comb. So let's have a look at this one. It sticks out, so you can use this one as well. The reason you use this one is when it's curled around is because you can get right underneath it. As with the other nail clipper, it's kind of hard to get um, when they're curled around. I find these nail clippers are kind of harder to cut the nail with. So this, this kind of dew claw can be trimmed with a regular nail trimmer. So I'll be going through a few dogs and to show you the difference of the dew claws. And also when you're cutting the dew claws, you can cut them from this side when you're doing this dew claw on that side because you can't really pull out the leg so much to to um, cut it because the dew claw is on the inside and you want to lift the leg so high, right? So you can actually just cut it from this side and you can look at it this way. So this one's not curled. Hopefully you can see that. There we go. Here's a little close up for you. And this claw's growing straight out so it doesn't really curl up too much, but it would if it keeps growing. See how they hook over? So I'm just gonna cut that with my regular nail file. Here's another little dew, dew claw on another dog. That one's easy accessible. I can use my regular clippers on that. Okay, so this dog just has the one dew claw on the back right leg. And I just want to show you it's really loose. A loose dew claw. Hi baby. It's hard to get from this angle. It just wiggles all over. And this dew claw is really curved, so that has potential to grow into the the skin. I'll get a close-up for you. So there you can see, I know she's got a lot of hair. It's really wiggly. So I'm just going to use these um, nail trimmers. They're like cat nail trimmers. It's a little bit easier to get under the nail. Mm. 
there. This type of nail should be cut every two to four weeks so it doesn't grow into the skin. So thank you for watching my videos. I hope uh, this helped you to learn about dew claws. I'll put more about dew claws in my description. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next video. And thank you again for watching. Mm -hmm.